All right, I'm back. Sorry about the wait. Use the bathroom to make Cursed Orator go away. And let's start up Super Dram World. So Super Dram World was a hack made by Pangea Panga. Let me go ahead and let me change this from Panga because people will be like, is that, is that Panga? I don't know. I'm gonna say Panga. All right, Super Dram World, uh, hack made by Panga. I used to speed run this. Uh, I've got like seventh or eighth place time or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's been a long time. And uh, yeah, let's do it. This is a classic, classic, uh, one of the best Kaizo hacks ever made. Uh, my Tasty Nuggets. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate that. Also, Norkinator. Thank you for one year. So I haven't speedrun this in a long time. It's been a very long time, so I don't remember much. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how this goes. And I've never done 100% of this game, so we're actually going to be doing 100%. So. A good gi emote in Discord. Yeah, I've seen that one before. I've seen I've seen that emote. Autumn leaf. I don't. I already forgot the speed strat. <laughs> All right. Unfortunately, this uh, does not have retry prompt. This is pre-retry, so no retry here. Also, no retry in uh, in Dram Two either. How do you do this at the start? You like. That's how you do it. I think you just do this. Hang on. Yeah, the Dram 1's kind of like... The best way to describe D Dram 1, it's like Kaizo 1 and 2, except fun and playable. The best way to describe it, I feel. Fuck! Glad Grand Pearl 2 was retry. That I think that's how you do it. And then you do a big jump and then you get the second bullet there. Alright, efforts are fuck. No retry, I haven't missed that. I don't really mind it because I it, it ends up giving me a chance to read chat. So I don't really I honestly don't mind it all that much. God, dude. You knew I was going to hit it? Well, well, way to go. Oh, man. This is going to be a rough playthrough, dude. This is going to be a rough run. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of Kaizo blocks in this game. There we go. We got it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Not all of us have chat to read when you're playing. Nah. Oh god, this fucking jump. Hey! Not bad, dude. Not bad. First try on that jump. Riding a bike. Sure. Ah! <laughs> Riding a bike. This is so much better than Mario Maker 2. Oh, too soon. Running a bike with a loose wheel that could come off at any second. What do I think of the new Mario Maker 2 update coming out September, waddle well, instead of December? It's great. No, I'm, I'm excited about it. Thanks 
for showing us where the Kaizo blocks are hidden. Oh, you're welcome. There we go. 19. Joe Cephas, thank you for the 250 bits. Appreciate it. Not too bad. The first part of the level is harder than the second part. The second part's not too bad. Ah, oh, okay. Update! Update! Wow! No, I'm excited about it. Oh. I feel like now there's actually, like, an incentive and a reason to try to make, like, a Zelda... A Zelda-style, like, puzzle level. You know? I feel like there's actually, like, a reason. Is there a list of Romex I've beaten? Uh, yeah, yeah. You can look on everything. You can look at everything over there. Uh, I think I'm fucked. Okay, so you need to bring that P-switch with you. <sighs> oh, it's definitely gonna get used in really shitty ways. There's no doubt about it. That's the thing is, like... Dode had a Twitter post where he was like, it's just going to make the game slower. It's like, yeah, but the thing is, that that's what happens when you play, like, really shit levels. And I agree, like, I complain about it, too. But you also have to play the good stuff. Otherwise, you're doing yourself a disservice. Hey, are we, like, are we, am I, like, four for four on yumps today? We've gotten a shitload of yumps today. A lot of yumping has been happening today. The yumping good time. Data. Oh, man. Oh, fuck this level. <laughs> oh, my God. We might we might be here for like an hour and a half or two hours. Fuck this level. Best shell jump ever. I forgot about this shit. stuck on that one yeah this level has a re this level is like reset town for the speed run because it has a really really fucking like terrible shell jump it's really tough after a while you kind of get used to it but still just level one two three four and five are a real bastard in this in the speed run because you end up resetting a lot barb you're a gangsta i am <laughs> the beast There we go. Are you actually killing me or are you merely perceiving the act of killing an image of me? How does one kill a dinosaur? Good old edgy 19 year old panga. First try, here we go. Nope. <laughs> nope, not quite. I'm just like young Panga. Nope. Second try, here we go. Okay, in case you haven't seen it, I died I died to that shit on my first fucking playthrough. On my first fucking playthrough, I died there. <laughs> There's actually a YouTube video of it. <laughs> of me dying on that fucking jump. Thanks for showing us. 
I died there. It's an old fucking video. Somebody, somebody find me that video on my YouTube and I will show you guys. <laughs> Ancient. Oh, all right. Talk. It's coming back to me. Dying there is a rite of passage. Die to the fish at the end of Dr. Strangler's three times in a row and you booted yesterday. <laughs> no, my maker score. You lowered my maker score. No. How could you? Uh, I mean, I've seen Dram World a million times. I've just never played the 100% levels because I, I never wanted to play the butthole. Um, I don't even think we're going to get to the butthole today, dude. So the first playthrough, that's a speed run. Yeah, yeah. So the end of this game, the 100% route, like to 100% to complete Dram World, there are, there's like, there's one like okay level that's like kind of difficult, but it's not too bad. I think it's like an ice auto scroller level and there's two levels. There's a dolphin level and there is a castle level that are real fucking difficult. The castle level is one of the, probably one of the most notorious levels in Kaizo, in my opinion. You want to scroll right? Is that what it is? I think you scroll right. Hey, nice. I don't know anybody who's done non-cheese mushroom escort. I'm jumping over that bitch. I'm jumping over that bitch. I ain't playing that level. I feel like the most notorious levels in Kaiza would be like Ultra Star, um, Sky Tree, Nibbana no Sato. Uh, I'd say Fangorn's up there for one of the most notorious levels. I'm trying to think of like the most notorious Kaiza levels. Motor skills. I'd say for for the most notorious level to me in in Storks, I'd say is RNG Castle. Say that one is the most notorious. Is this the video? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Where the hell did it go? All right. Let, let me. Let's relive. Let's relive something that happened. So this video was uploaded January second, twenty nineteen. So that's almost three years ago. Really, like that's not that long ago. That wasn't that long. Ago. Let's let's turn back the clock. Let's turn back the clock, and let's watch how this section went for me on my first time. We're gonna relive the trauma. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back in time. It probably happened. It maybe it, it might have happened a couple days before that too. All right. Back in time, guys. Back in time. Here we go. go that was it guys <laughs> ah the memories so many fun memories fun happy time memories 
old Barb. Yeah, he's he's dead. He's dead and gone now. Did I reach my follow goal for that day? I I hope so. Probably didn't, but I hope I did. <laughs> that was the exact moment I became a dick. I don't know. Maybe maybe it was. I mean, why not? All right. Yeah, I know. You, I, I hate that you can hear my breathing. <laughs> I fucking hate it. <laughs> now I have unfollow goals. I think I started streaming in 2016. That was when I started. I knew without a doubt that Panga is a dick. Ah, oh, sorry. Yeah, we're gonna do the hundred percent. I've never done it. The stream nowadays is missing loud breathing. Oh shit. September twenty sixteen. Yeah. Coming up on uh, three years of partnership, believe it or not. Okay. Now I can work with some breathing. Uh, okay. It's been a long time. How many viewers did I get back in those days? Uh, I mean, when I made, when I made like Kamikaze Bros and when I was first started streaming, I probably had like frequently like sub 20 viewers like less than 10 viewers a lot there were times there were uh, there were times when i was streaming the making of kamikaze bros and i had no viewers just like zero really back back when i started it was like right now you can probably look at like you go on Twitch right now, like if you look up Super Mario World, there's probably a shitload of people streaming like Kaizo stuff or ROM hacks or whatever. When I started, there really weren't that many people who did that. There weren't very many. It was like Dode and Pooh was starting. Like Pooh and Dode were doing it. And like Link Dead. It was just very rare. Nowadays, you go and they're fucking dime a dozen, you know, for, for, Kaizo, for Kaizo players. So that kind of helps you be unique. Like nowadays, I mean, shit. There's like, there's at least like a dozen people who stream Kaizo right now in chat. <laughs> so it was more, it was more of a novelty then. Uh, Beast was streaming before I was. I, I was actually one of the first people. I was one of the first people in Beast stream. I was one of the first people in uh, Jaku's stream. I was there for like Jaku's first stream. I've been around in a while. Oh my god, that's loud. Thank god that wasn't like a donation or something. Uh, and uh, Andy Lynn, thank you so much. I don't remember. Oh god, no! Oh god, that was a bad dolphin. You're my guy. <laughs> 24. Uh, thank you, Andy Lynn, for the four months. I don't know if I'm getting, I feel like sometimes I, I'm playing pretty well in Kaizo Mar, in like SMW, and sometimes I feel like I'm just getting really lucky. <laughs> I don't know which it is. Am I, am I, am I good or am I getting lucky? I can't tell. Oh shit. Better lucky than good. It's probably because I like in the back of my mind, I like half remember strats and what to do, you know? I think that's probably why.
Did I know Pangoni was making this? No. This was made pre Mario Maker. I wasn't playing Kaizo anything. Uh, when before Mario Maker came out, I was playing Smash. Oh yeah, the the vine part's the hardest room in this le in this uh, level. How long have I not played ROM hacks? Uh, I haven't played ROM hacks since the last SMW I played before I restarted this. Uh, before I started playing Kaizo hacks again, was literally the GDQ stage because right after GDQ is when Mario Maker Two came out. I know. Can you imagine playing a fucking kids party game like Smash? But no, I was like, I was like, doing Smash Ladder and doing Smash Four and shit. It was Mario Maker that got me into it. you want to go you can one cycle that i think but it's like hard okay not too bad i made dk in smash 4 i didn't i didn't honestly play very much ultimate i'm like uh i'm like mediocre at ultimate Am I excited for the new Mario Maker 2 update? Uh, yeah, sure. What kind of chair do I have? I have a Secret Lab Titan something. It was a gift uh, for my Titanic ass. Ah, I think it's uh, it's like all right when you die, right? Yeah, it was a gift from chat. Am I going to give the new Guilty Gear? I've never played Guilty Gear. I've never played it. Hmm, okay. Yeah, the same chair. It's so good. The Titanic ass comment made you do a spit take. <laughs> you should. It's fantastic. I don't know. Fighting games are... My favorite fighting games I've played... Um... Favorite fighting game. Alright, I'll list my favorite fighting games. Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, all versions of it. I really like Street Fighter 4. I played a shitload of Street Fighter 4. I never played Street Fighter 5, though. Street Fighter 4 was incredible. I really liked that game. Uh, I really like Dead or Alive 4 and 5. Uh, I haven't. I kind of fell off after Dead or Alive 5. I really like those games. Um, I like uh, Smash. I like Melee, even though I'm trash at it. I like I liked Smash 4. I like Ultimate. I just don't really play it that much. Um, yeah, I like Soul Calibur 2 for sure. No, Dead or Alive actually was like a decent fighting game before it went too far with the boobies. Oh, I love Soul Calibur 2. Yeah. No, I don't. I've never liked Tekken. I, I've always felt Tekken was uh, very clunky. I always felt Tekken and Virtua Fighter were too clunky. Dead or Alive has like flow. You know? Uh, Estigos, thank you for the 19 months. I don't know if anybody agrees with me on that one. Do I own a fight stick? No, I... So, like, I used to go to arcades as a kid to, like, play Street Fighter 2. But, um... I've never felt comfortable with arcade sticks. I prefer controllers. To be quite honest. You want to right scroll here? I don't remember. Where did the football players originate from? From Super Mario World. Oh my god, I don't remember. I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, uh, you know what? I should have showed you guys. Hang on. Let me show you guys something. They're on the playing pad. Any fighters you felt disappointed with? 
Um. Oh, it just spawns you here. Never mind. Huh. Wonder how he does that. I was gonna show you guys a Kaizo block, but I forgot. I don't know what fighters I felt disappointed with. I wouldn't say I was disappointed with Smash Ultimate. Do I want to, like, throw that? I guess I do. Fuck. It's hard to like honestly i just have a hard time finding time for everything i want to do like i want to play smash i want to speed run i want to play mario maker i want to do super mario world hacks uh, a lot of stuff i want to do not a lot of time to do them really the thing i've been enjoying the most lately is uh speed running contrary to what it might seem when i play streets of rage 2 but mushroom skip or riot you know i don't think i'm gonna get mushroom skip What do I feel like on shooting games like Time Crisis? Oh, Time Crisis is an amazing game. I love Time Crisis. What? <laughs> Come on, man. Really showing off all the ways to let that shell kill me. Hey, give me a break. I've actually done pretty well in this game so far. I barely, I didn't even, I, it only took me two tries to get the Jada Grotto gem. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, God. If I played Chrono Trigger, I have, yeah. I played it relatively recently. I really enjoyed it. It's probably like the best RPG I've played. Super, super fun game. No. No. Fuck. How do you get past the torpedo Ted's like this? This is one of the most depressing levels to die to in the speed, in the speed run. Any ideas for a Link Super Mario Brothers level? I mean, I have to actually, like, play with it, you know? That'll probably be the first thing I'll want to do. Game's being rude. That Chuck is the final boss. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, we have problem. Uh, this, this is not, uh-oh. <laughs> no, after all that, come on, man. Fuck. You don't even, so you don't even really need the shell. You can just do it without it, but. God damn it. You swear I do it intentionally, insane plays and running into death randomly. Uh, I promise I don't. I wish I was good enough to do the thing you think I'm doing, but I'm not. Uh, well, I guess we're going to try to do it without it. How are you supposed to do this like legit? I feel like you got a screen scroll or something. How the fuck are you supposed to legit do that? Uh, I am on a super, an analog super NT on an SD disness. That is my setup. I've been using this for a long time. Alright, well, I guess we're trying it without the shell. Alright. Guess we're gonna beat it. Sorry, no attempt mushroom skip. 
I wanted to. Super NT worth it? For me, it's worth it. Absolutely. Heard that too. Uh, Bridge of Butter. Let's do it. Ah, okay. Super NT is amazing. Yeah, I love my Super NT. Uh, give it that. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, thank you for the sub. Oh, do you have to, you have to like jump twice? Okay. Uh, thank you, give it that for the 16 months. Raspberry Smash. Thank you for five months. Uh, Dram is a person. Dram55 was a speedrunner. One of the, I don't know if he was the first, but he was one of the first people to ever speedrun Kaizo Hacks. Now he plays Fortnite. Yeah, he is a speed. Uh, he is a streamer. He actually played a little bit of Mario Maker 2 when it first came out. I think he was doing some viewer levels or something. But uh, he is—he's a married man, and I don't think he has time. Ah! Oh! How the mighty have fallen. I don't want to say like not that like the mighty have fallen. I feel like it's uh, those lives change and people move on and. You know. Shit happens. You know? Shit. It's Mario Maker before Nintendo monetized. I mean, not quite. JK, thank you for the 11 months. Man, I'm... That part's difficult. That part is difficult. Like You just have to kind of know exactly how to climb on the rope. It's probably an obstacle that I, I just, in the speedrun, I like never ever died to. <laughs> I think I need to get on the bottom rope sooner. <laughs> I need to get on that bottom rope a little bit faster there. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. You missed Bar. I mean, there's definitely people who are like, man, Burbstream, he's changed so much. He used to be so cool. And now he's just a sellout. Although I'd be interested to say who they think I sold out to because there's still zero advertising or any kind of monetization on anything on the stream. <laughs> but there's definitely somebody out there who thinks that. Oh, I saw. I, it's true. I did. I did sell out to Ghost Express. It's a good point. Yeah, we did it. There is a there is supposed to be a dig and chuck once you get to the first rope. I'm sorry if it doesn't spawn, but I don't know why it happens. Fix your damn ROM hack, Panga. 
I dare you make money and earn a living off something you do. There, there is so little. There is so much I could do, probably, and I just don't. I wonder. I wonder if the Chuck was there. I'm sure I could probably. I'm. I'm sure I could find sponsors. I know, like a bunch of people yell at me to get to get a sponsorship with. Uh, a bunch of people yell at me to get sponsored by that coffee company, like Madrinas or something. People want me to do that. What even is what? I don't even know what Madrinas offers. Isn't it like, uh, like a special coupon or something? I don't know. Well, we can do a, a coupon day or, or something. <laughs> the fuck was that? You don't chill. It's so weird. I mean, there's, there's streams who are sponsored and I've never, and they, they just do not chill whatsoever. You know what I mean? Like I've seen their sponsors, like ZFG is on CLG, right? Uh, Counter Logic Gaming. And he, he doesn't chill anything. He's, he's never shilled a day in his life. You know, he's still sponsored. <laughs> ZFG is a huge sellout. I mean, Pooh doesn't even really shill Red Bull. He doesn't do that. Like he wears a Red Bull hat occasionally, but like... That's not, if that's shilling for Red Bull, then I think you've got larger, you've got problems. He does, yeah, I would, I would know, I would not, I would challenge anybody who would, who would call Poo a shill. I really don't think he's a shill at all. Zero shilling happens over there. I feel like the chat brings up Red Bull more than Pooh ever does. <laughs> Aha! I remembered. Ho Zanker, thank you for nine months. This level has more Kaizos than all of Kaizo 1. I believe it. This really, like, I gotta say, like, this is one of my favorite levels in Dram 1. It's like, it's like the balance of, like, yeah, there's a lot of Kaizo blocks and, like, a lot of dickery going on in this level, you know? But it's still, like, a fun level to play still like an enjoyable platforming level you know that's what mario maker really lacks Lo the kaizo levels like this fuck <laughs> uh, i'm gonna 100 percent this game i've never 100 percent it before so when we get to the new when we get to the new the new levels you'll know because I'll be I'll be progressing even less than I am right now. <laughs> this looks like torture. Now this is fun. Pokemon shell. If there was any game I was shilling, it, pro it was probably Death Stranding more, th more than Pokemon. I, I was kind of shitting on Pokemon while I was playing it. God damn it, I keep forgetting. <sighs> I'm into the Halo series. I played Halo like relatively recently. It was like a year or so ago or something like that. I did them all on Legendary. I did Halo 1, 2, and 3. So I'm not really interested in the, master in the new halo for pc you know there's not really a reason ah, i've played them all pretty recently so i was promised odst odst is still like it's forever like 70 percent downloaded on my xbox one
It'll never be. It'll never be more than that. Is my favorite the penguin level? What penguin level? What are you talking about? No! Watching my Doom playthrough. There's pretty much Kaizo blocks just everywhere there. Oh, the rope despawn. <laughs> oh, yeah, that can also happen. Sometimes the rope can despawn. And Panga just won't fix his game. He won't do it. We, we keep asking. Keeps refusing. Someday. Yeah, I didn't, there was no apology. He apologized for the chuck, but he never apologized for the rope despawning. Good point. Shit, I went too soon. Yeah, this is where the whole... I think this is where the whole fix your ROM hack panga thing came from. Yeah. Uh, Super Super Mario World is just not the same as Mario Maker. You know, when you get Mario Maker and you have the machines and interactability, um, not there, dude. I'm I'm that's like five runs in a row where the rope hasn't spawned. The fuck? Um, you can't do the same things you do in Mario Maker. You just can't have as many things on screen at one time. <sighs> what the hell? Uh, Fostix, thank you for the four months. I know how to get the Chuck to spawn. I don't know how to make the rope spawn. <laughs> Somehow the way I'm doing this is forcing it to despawn every time. Scroll right? I don't think so. There it is. Jeez. Where the hell have you been? Lydell, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Bob Slidell. All right, out of there. Marv Gobble. Auto scrollers suck. <laughs> Great. <laughs> nice, nice level, Panga. I don't remember my strat for the beginning of this. That gobble turned you on a little. <laughs> okay. Okay, USA.
Ha! I remembered. Meh. Oh! All right, not too bad. Uh, Gut Go, thank you for the gift sub. Thanks, Gut Go. Oh, see you, Yoshi. Yeah, the tomatoes for killing the chuck. Silence during concentration time. You can spin jump on almost everything after the update on Mario Maker 2, and I don't think that's true. Oh, okay, I think that's what you think you have to spin. A hack weevil is very possible. Oh, okay, cool. Really excited for a hack weevil. This is probably my favorite segment in the entire hack. Hope you have as much fun as I did making this part. Go, oh, Yoshi! Oh, shit. I pressed jump too soon. All right. What other things will be included in this update? I don't know. I think you're, um... I think you're probably overestimating what we're going to get. I don't think we're going to get like, but well, wait, there's more. We're also adding charging Chuck. Uh, I think, I think you're going to be disappointed if you think something like that's going to happen with Mario Maker 2 right now. Oh, uh, so I think you, do you press jump there or no? I don't remember if you press jump or not. Go back to Mario Maker 1 item times everyone gets pissed. You know, this part how fast it gets looks cool. It's definitely one of the most visually impressive parts of the hack for sure. People like these fast auto scroll sections. <sighs> oh, it's SMB2. I'd be down for SMB2. I just want it to be like real SMB2, you know, like riding on enemies screen wrapping vertical like verticality I, I want it to be actual smb2 not like phony mario maker smb2 i am surely going to be disappointed if they ever do add it okay so you, you don't press jump and then you do press jump a little bit okay all right these these note block jumps is return to sub count on my list of ROM Max. My ROM Max are only going to be Super Mario World ROM Max at the moment. I'm not planning on playing any SMB2 or SMB3, but I do really love return to sub count. Ah. Fishing boo for Mario Maker. excited to see what i make yeah i was thinking about like oh i was thinking like a couple days ago like yeah maybe i'll make a new level in mario maker 2 and then they're like they announced this update and like nah fuck i'm just gonna wait for the update <laughs> is that like a re like how do you avoid that block is that like a re-grab or something i think that might be like a re-grab Uh, I vade. Thank you for three months. I knew that block was there, but I just could not remember how to avoid it. I was just hoping I wouldn't hit it. Thank you, I vade. I'm taking a break from Mario Maker? Not really, no. I played Mario Maker yesterday. 
Just because you haven't, just because you don't see something in front of your face right now, doesn't mean that thing no longer exists. That's it's kind of like object permanence, you know. Kind of like how when you have a baby and you like cover the baby, you like cover your face, the baby thinks you're gone. Twitch is kind of like that. Aw, oh, shit. Like, where's Barb? There he is! See? <laughs> it's because Mario Maker is not here. It doesn't mean it's gone. I found him! No, you fucking cuck shit. Fuck. Right. Every time you remove your sweatband, you should just not wear it. Just take it off. You're going to be you're going to be miserable for a week. I don't think laser, you know, I don't think laser belts likes wearing the headband. I think you just got to rip off the band-aid. Otherwise, you're never going to get away from it. Just deal with like the month of getting, where's the headband? Just deal with that month and you'll be fine. Does he wash it? Never, never. I've, I've been around his headband. Thing is the smelliest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. There's, there is years years of kaizo sweat built up on that it smells rank like put it's like it's like slapping a sewer on your forehead it is disgusting man <laughs> it was originally white <laughs> What's it like seeing him without his headband? Uh, it's like nothing. Doesn't doesn't affect me at all. I didn't run up to him. I was like, "Whoa, where's your headband?" Six years of Kaizo crust. <laughs> I think the very, very first time I met him, I didn't recognize him without it. <laughs> he also sounds very different in person. Different sounding voice. Man, I just cannot get these note block jumps. These are these are un these are underrated how difficult these are. Yeah, the mic can really change my voice. I feel like I mostly sound the same. But Marauding map. Thank you for the five months. <sighs> Blazer belch. Fucking shit. Fucking shit. This level's a pain in the ass in the speed run. Real pain in the ass. Sneeze farted in line at the grocery store this morning. Did you like, did you like cough? You like accidentally fart. I feel like you got to do something like to cover it up. Like you got to like, <laughs> or like sneeze or something. You got to, you got to try to obfuscate the evidence. Create doubt in, in people's minds that whether or not you farted. Did you miss Grand Portal or Grand Portal 2? You, uh, you have not missed those. I haven't done those yet. 
Grandpa 1 and Grandpa 2 are not going to be for a little while. Save, I saved the, the worst hacks for last. That's a stink. You know, so there actually is a there actually is an illness people have. It's called stinky sneezes. I think it's. I don't know. I don't know if that's like the official terminology, but you have sneezes that smell really bad. It's a real thing. No, it's real. That's one hundred percent real. You have stinky sneezes. Is that it? Halitosis? Is that what it is? No way. What's up, princess? No, it's, it's, you know, maybe it's tonsil stones. Maybe that's it. I don't know. That might be it. And these fucking note blocks are so difficult. You know, people are stinky. I've never smelled a stinky sneeze before. second part of this level is fucking me up right now you doubt stinky sneezes is the official terminology <laughs> just don't cough sneeze fart and burp at the same time you only have so many holes in your body right just expel gas from all holes we go uh on my first playthrough i might have died to that wimp i might have <laughs> i'm not gonna say i definitely did but i might have all right let's go to that video i didn't highlight that one that one, that one was too embarrassing circles just fart makes you more relatable and human to you who says i haven't been farting literally the entire i've been streaming for almost four hours who says i haven't been, who says i haven't been farting for four hours did this like appear out of nowhere or was that just me the four hour fart you'd poop yourself if you tried right now i don't you know i don't really want to know about your bowel movements i don't really want to know about them probably somebody's in here watching and pooping right now do i need to know about it not really ah i should just go guilty I hit my follower goal of 29 out of 5. That's not bad. You were the first person I ever saw jump confidently through a boo, a boo circle. Dude, it's because I fucking hate waiting. <laughs> also, boo circles. The boos in boo circles have very forgiving hitboxes. You just farted out of respect. Is that like tipping your hat to me? A lot of people are in here pooping right now. Let's just all poop together. Having sex, Lamau. Doesn't count if you're doing it with, by yourself. That's not called sex. Gr the group poop. Should I change my tags to playing with viewers? <laughs> Ah. 
Bots connected by pipes and oceans. You have a fart lasting longer than four hours. Boo. Oh. I think you gotta wait. I think to make that part all line up and work well, I think you gotta wait for him to bob back up. You want him to bob back up and uh, bring it back down. This is your first experience with Fishing Boo. My first experience with Fishing Boo, I believe, was Kaizo 1 100%. And that, was a, that was not a very nice teacher. That level's fucking rough as fuck. As a hard level. <sighs> the short. Oh yeah, I guess that was actually my first experience. The the one in the water level in Kaizo One. I guess that was actually my first fishing boot experience. But you don't really like spin jump on that fishing boot. You just kind of avoid him, I guess. Maybe that's why I didn't think about it. You've only dealt with fishing boot in the water. <laughs> fishing boot in the water is how you learn that the fishing boot hitbox is terrible. So he's mostly empty. Unlucky Stuntman, thank you for 25 months. Thank you, Unlucky Stuntman. I got, I got, I just slipped off. Whipped the nine nine. Is the fishing boot hitbox the same as a Chuck baseball? Yeah, in the same way that a piece of pizza and a space shuttle are the same thing. Sure, yeah, same thing. You wanna see that pizza pizza? They're both made out of atoms. Great, now I want pizza. As happy. Way to go, guys. I might have got a little lucky there. <laughs> oh shit. All right. Did not deserve that door. How many hacks am I going for? A lot. We're going to play a lot of hacks. Uh, how did 
get on top of the first one. Do people hardcode these hacks? No, there's a maker for it. There is a builder. It's called Lunar Magic. Lunar Magic makes building these sorts of things a lot easier. Yeah, I've, I used to speedrun this hack a long time ago. Hmm. Maybe I should aim for the second one? Who's my main in Lunar Magic? Uh, Blue Koopa, for sure. Hard jump. G G. Is chat like talking to a goldfish a little his memory every thirty seconds? More or less. Yes. Blind first try. The rise and fall. Oh, this level's so good. I haven't played this level in so long. Such a fun level. Oh, I forgot about that guy. <laughs> oh, that one. Mario Maker. Oh man, I gotta do a double shell jump. Easy every time. Uh, Ahada La Cruz, thank you very much. For three months. you man <laughs> yeah the chuck gate first appeared in kaizo one kaizo one level one that was the first chuck gate who's the person in the photo uh that's my dad Nope, that's my dad. You guys don't see the resemblance? Uh, Joshua, thank you for the three months. I wouldn't call it a break from Mario Maker because I literally played Mario Maker yesterday. Oh. Man, this first jump is difficult. Yeah, that's Beast Grandfather. <laughs> First jump is hard. We both have microphones. Herb's not playing Mario Maker. He must have quit forever. Even if I quit Mario Maker forever, like, would anything really be lost? Let's be real here. Will we, will we actually be losing anything? I'm training with hacks to get used to the unusual new mechanics of Mario Maker 2. No, I just want to go back to hacks. I miss it. A hundred DGR boxes. Oh. Oh, 
I guess just go there. Am I hyped for the Mario Maker 2 patch? Sure. Yeah. I'm excited. I'll make a level or two or something. We'll see. Uh, hacks completed is total hacks. What? I didn't understand your question. So far in, in my return to Super Mario World hacks, I've beaten seven ROM hacks. Right. Yeah, I've played way more. I've played like fucking everything before, but that was all a long time ago. This jump is fucking difficult. Hey, we got it. You have to, if you hold jump off that blue shell, you die because there's Kaizo blocks. You have to do a regrab. Got to do a, a floaty jump there. Any hacks on the list I haven't played yet? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there will be. Eventually. How do I make it look so easy? I mean, I'm pretty good at Super Mario World. Pretty good. Kind of a big deal. Barb Ego. Uh, this level's actually a pain in the balls. That's why this level is a fucking pain in the balls. God, I hate that. Just a video of Ryu playing. She had a dad as cool as my dad. Since the update won't be till like 9 p.m. Uh, who knows? This is the worst level in the hack. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know what the worst level in the hack is. I mean, that does make it pretty bad. I'd say it's like bottom three levels in the hack for sure. Dick Doc, thank you for the 16 months. So uh, that kills you because in Super Mario World, you can't spin on two items at the same, on two things at the same time. When you do that, you take damage. So. Yeah, this level's not the best. Is there a single power up in all of Dram? Yeah, there's like mushrooms and shit. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No! <laughs> Come on, man. I knew it was somewhere. <laughs> Auto scrollers suck. Nah, auto scroller suck is definitely not like top five in the game, but the first half is kind of slow and irritating. The second half is pretty good though. It's probably one of the worst levels in the speed run just because of the annoyance factor of the up pipe.
You want a revenge for the fish in Dr. Strange? This was made like a million years before Panga even knew who I was. Oh, there's so many. Where is it? Shoot. Shoot. You're sh you're, you are going to shoot. Ah. Uh, Dick Dog, thank you for 16 months. Hero Soft, thank you for 17 months. Thank you, Hero Soft. There we go. Yeah, P Panga, Panga's been doing rows of Kaizos forever. That's like his MO. Oh. Yeah, this was long. This is before Mario Maker 1. This is a long time ago, man. What's my MO? I feel like my MO for, for Kaizo blocks is the block where you are tricked into jumping backwards. And the Kaizo block kills you for that. I feel like that's that's the block I do a lot. Okay, I think you're supposed to like... Okay. I think I want to left scroll and then go under. The guy who cried for like an hour on this level after he died near the end. I think that was Link dead. <laughs> Does Dram stream? I don't think he streams very much anymore. Yeah, the beast is my son. Good boy. <laughs> That's a good boy. That was a close one. Anti-pog. I'm probably making these, so like the amount of hacks I've beaten in this amount of time, like I probably made a lot of these hacks look a lot easier than they are. <laughs> Cause it probably like, it kind of seems like I've like, Almost like it's a first playthrough, but it's not. I feel like I'm making these hacks seem way easier than they, than they actually are. <laughs> mm. I think I want to swim over that one and then go under the second one. Oh yeah, special world is where shit's gonna go real bad. <laughs> Andy is gonna play Grand Pool World too. He hits an incentive. He say he's gonna play it, or does he say he's gonna beat it? I was dead to the fire. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know what the completionist plans are. I have no idea.
This one I remember. You're not going to get me with this one. I remember that one. Orb. Poor completionist playing Grand Portal 2. Literally every single person at MMC warned him. Like, we all warned him. There wasn't a single person who was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Nobody was like that. Everybody warned him. He did that to himself. What's up with the pick of Gila Douche? That's my dad. That's my dad. I just love my dad. Gi here, reporting on Barbarous King playing some uh, Super Dram World. Gi like. <laughs> oh, you gotta like run off. Okay. I just want to be there when he when he sees the midway for the first time. I want to be there when he sees the midway for the first time, and I want to see like how that like how the midway goes. That's what I want to see. Ah, that midway is one, that midway is fucking difficult in Grand Pool Two Level One. <laughs> You know that originally in that in that level there was just like ground and you could just jump and get the midway and it was like super easy and then like it was actually like i feel like it was the last like month of me making and i was like you know what it should be fucking hard as shit and then i made it hard as shit uh angster thank you for 16 months it was like a super super easy midway to get and then i changed it and People ignore the midway. I mean, only speedrunners do that. If you're playing the first time, you of course you get the midway. Philo Rube, thank you for five months. Marathons to weed out the people who don't know. It really wasn't. It was just, I, I usually like making the first level like a fast paced go, go, go kind of level. And that was just what I made. Also, I wanted to use the, I wanted to use wing blocks. Um, like the two hammer brother blocks. I wanted to use that as many ways as I could. So that's what I did. Uh, A.G. Cockstein. Thank you very much, Cockstein. Or the sub. Cockstein. Why don't you work, go to the golf course, work on your putts. Uh, RNG Dolphins. Thank you for the gift sub to Guy LaDouche. 172 gift subs. Holy shit. Uh, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that gift sub, man. That, this jump to hit that on off switch is underratedly difficult. We learned German from Mario Maker. Ein Troll. I couldn't remember if the blocks were on the left or the right side of the No <laughs> oh, shit. I couldn't remember if the if the Kaiser blocks were on the left or the right side of the on-off 
I'm glad they were on the left. That's what I thought they were. Fuck. Yeah, that's a hard jump. You thought it was directly... There's actually... There's two Kaizo blocks. There's one to the left, and then there's one directly beneath it. So that's why you have to jump from the right. You can't do it from the left side. Uh, Try to say... Okay, here. I'm going to try to say the word 3H. Fuck you. You're timed out. Did I pronounce it right? How did I do on that? Was that good? Any other requests? Nailed it. Good. First try. Perfect pronunciation. By the way, if you're out there, Mark Zuckerberg, you want to bring me over to Facebook Gaming for several million dollars? <laughs> uh, Cuddlebug, thank you for 11 months. Thank you, Cuddlebug. Is this the Facebook gaming? I can't tell. Where's my glasses? Is this is this Walmart customer service? <laughs> That's how I magic. You know what? Maybe maybe that would be better. Maybe Facebook gaming chat would be better than hanging out with you guys, right? Like you guys were all like Mario Maker update. But on if I was streaming on Facebook gaming right now, I'd be like, Is this the Atari? Who are you? Are you my son? <laughs> maybe that would, maybe that would, maybe that's the chat I have to respond to. <laughs> Can you make me some soup? No, I'm, I'm playing, I'm playing Super Dram World. It's a really hard, it's a really hard ROM hack, but I'd really like some soup. <laughs> Are you sure you can't make me soup? A chat's hype. <laughs> I can't even imagine like, okay, so like Facebook gaming calls, Mark Zuckerberg slithers out from his lair and calls me up and he's like, hey Barb, I want you to join. I want you to join Facebook gaming, right? He slithers back into his lair afterwards and like, we'll give you a hundred million dollars. I'm like, fine. All right. A hundred million dollars. I can buy like anything I want. You have to stream. You have to stream on Facebook. I can't even imagine the first stream on Facebook, like the second one, the 10th one, whatever the first stream on Facebook. I feel like that's gotta be the worst one, right? Like, Hey guys, it's me, Barb. I'm on Facebook. <laughs> Is I just be waiting? Are you allowed to like? All right, so like we can kind of make fun of. I feel like as a Twitch partner, like we can kind of poke fun at Twitch and like the stuff you do. Are you allowed to, to criticize? Are you allowed to make fun of Facebook? Can you like say like? Can you make fun of Facebook? I feel like you know what I feel like. The first thing I would do as a Facebook streamer would be like, "Hey guys, welcome to my MySpace." Like, <laughs> I feel like that would be the first thing I would do as a Facebook streamer. I'd immediately make fun of it. Can you criticize the Zuck? Uh, Integria, thank you for the 13 months. Oh yeah, I'm fucking the, I, now, now Facebook was gonna contact me and offer, and offer me a hundred billion dollars to stream, but I think that's out of the window now. That ship has sailed. Yeah, I ripped my hundred million. Young man. Do you, does this guy really play video games all day for a living? <laughs> Why doesn't he get a real job? Do Americans use, yeah, Facebook is very widespread. A ton of people still have Facebook. I think that nowadays it's mostly uh, old people. Mostly old people. When will he get my soup? I think there's still young people who use Facebook, but uh, I think it's like, I don't want to say it's dead. It might not be dead, but uh, among like younger kids, like I'd say like, like 
less than 21, I think that it's very, very rare for like less than 21 years old. I think it's more co like the younger you get, the less common it is. So if, if you think about it in that sense, there's kind of like a, a TikTok going on for Facebook. Like eventually it'll just, if its user base is dying out, it needs to get new people onto Facebook, which hence things like Facebook gaming, etc. Right, that's, yeah, that's the point. You're 20 and everyone you know has Facebook. I don't know, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, who knows? Maybe, maybe it is more common than I think. I just kind of, I just kind of like assumed and had the sense that younger kids were not using it. At least maybe it's not as widespread. I know for a fact that I I would not be caught dead on Facebook. Oh, okay, I really don't remember this part. <laughs> okay, you have to like hit the switch to keep the platform going. I really don't remember this part. Did I I fucking I've had too many I've had too many fucking stupid arguments with like people I knew in high school and family members to ever want to go back on Facebook. Oh my God. The paragraphs that have been typed at me. It's way too serious over there. It, be it got to the point like at the end when I was using Facebook, it was at the end, at the end of it, like if I typed anything, like my, probably my dad, mostly my dad would type like a three paragraph treatise arguing with everything I had said. It's like, it was just, it was literally like poisoning my, my, it was poisoning my relationship with my family, you know, like actually poisoning it. I just, it's, I had to get, I had to get the poison out of my life, you know, whether or not you agree with somebody like, I mean, how, how many people, how many, I mean, like, even if you try to like ignore my mom, my mom called me once cause it was my birthday and I had my mom on ignore because I was trying to avoid political shit. And it was my birthday and my mom posted a, like a baby picture of me or something on Facebook. And she called me, she called me in tears, in tears, in tears that I didn't like comment or like or do anything because of that photo. In tears, devastated that I did not do anything about her Facebook post. You know how much happier I am without Facebook? You know how much fucking happier I am? Way to make your mom cry. You know how much happier I am without that shit? No, she was really fucking upset that I, I never even saw it. I never even saw the thing because I had ignored it. She was incredibly upset. That's, there's, there's not any exaggeration happening there. That's actually what happened. <laughs> not making that shit up. We'll just have messed up family. Facebook didn't do that. Yeah, but Facebook facilitates facilitates the the bad shit, you know? Makes it too easy. Ah Moms on Facebook are stressful. I'm just I'm out. I'm out. I'm not I'm never I'm not on Facebook at all. I don't get play my levels on Facebook. I think I'm still doing something wrong. I think I need to go to the right side first or something. I'm doing something wrong over there. It's just not working. Can't figure it out. <laughs> uh, show me potato salad. Thank you for the 15 months. Appreciate it. I always preferred Ryu anyway. Yeah, I think that's the thing if you're talking about content creators. I feel like uh, content creators who are, whoops. I think when it comes to content creators who are like attractive to places like YouTube, like YouTube gaming or Mixer, like Mixer with Mixer, obviously Ninja was just massive, right? Same with like Shroud. But with uh, Facebook gaming, both, um, uh, 
Zero has a massive YouTube presence, you know? So I feel like that, so it's like not only bringing over a Twitch presence, but also a YouTube presence. That's what it is, okay. Hey! Uh, Anonymous, thank you for the gift sub to Mark Zuckerberg. Thank you so much. Shout outs to the Zuck. GG. Yeah, TMR is now on Facebook as well. Yes, he is. That is the case. Oops. How come my mods are so zealous? They're so, they're full of zeal because they have really high morale. <laughs> they're very zealous. Oh, you have to wait there. Okay. Don't you want unzealous mods? My mods are like... My mods are like really stinky farts. They are, they are mostly silent, but they are deadly. <laughs> uh, Jcast, thank you for the four months. They're the stinkiest farts. Shit. Thank you. Your mods are gross. Yeah, but but it's okay because they're my brand, so I like it. <laughs> you had poutine yesterday. Can confirm stinky farts. Everybody likes their own brand. Yeah, actually was actually was too loud to be a silent but deadly fart. I was just trying to hold jump. <laughs> Do I laugh when I fart around my wife? It depends on the fart, you know? Some farts are like, tee hee, and some farts are like, I am deeply sorry. <laughs> it depends, right? You never know what it's going to be. Ah. What's up, Arendel? I would be the most viewed on Mixer. Well, that's assuming that if I came over with all of my current viewership and if I switched to Mixer, I'd probably lose like at least, whoops. I think I'd lose like at least 80% of you, 90% of you, 95% of you, something insane. What's up, Rip, Rip B-I-G? Yo, what's up, Shabda? Thanks. Sorry, I just wanted the whole jump. Dude, I wouldn't follow me on Facebook. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't follow any... I don't care if Pooh went to Facebook. I love Pooh. I would not go to Facebook. I wouldn't follow. Simple as that. And I, and fucking A, I've named two ROM Max after the guy. Uh, he's been to my house. He's been to my house. MMC. I wouldn't follow. I straight up wouldn't. Maybe Mixer, never Facebook. I would not, I would not follow Poo to Facebook. Nothing would ever get me back on Facebook. Nothing. We're talking about switching platforms. Uh, it just kind of comes up occasionally. Uh, the Smash, the uh, Smash Player Zero recently went over to Facebook. So uh, I gotta, I gotta time it a little bit better. Do I have a Mixer account? No, I've been on Mixer like once, and I was like, ew, <laughs> and I, I never went back. George Jellybean, thank you for four months. Thank you, George. Ah. Do you know Facebook had gaming? What if my mom called me in tears, asked me to come back to Facebook? I actually kind of want to get rid of my phone. <laughs> you know what my phone does? You guys want to know what my phone is? 
My phone is a trash receptacle for spam calls. That's what my phone is. I may as well, like, I can do any number of things to get the same thing out of Facebook. It's a trash receptacle for spam calls. That's all it's for. Like, there's no, I can, there's got to be another way I can fucking, like, text my wife. Because that's pretty much the only thing I ever do on my phone is text my wife and, uh, and watch Twitch. Fuck. That's all I ever do. Block, yeah, just block the number because it's one fucking phone number I'm, I'm getting called from. God, you putts. I'm getting called from like a thousand different phone numbers. Just block the number. I have to, I have to block an entire fucking cell tower to get away from this shit. I'd have to block like 48 states to get away from this shit. What about my car's extended warranty? What about the Chinese consulate calling to tell me they're going to take me back to China? What about that shit? <laughs> Help the Nigerian prince. Ukrainian kidnapper? You'd call, call, uh, call Liam Neeson. How do they get your number? I guess they just buy it. I don't know. They dial it. They either buy it or they like dial it randomly or some shit. If my total war campaigns are any indication, I can handle it. All I know is to attack Chen. <laughs> Keep attacking Chen. jump here oh man i'm gonna die <laughs> shit dad fuck god damn it i knew it i knew it i knew it i knew it Yeah, it's kind of luck based. I think it's like sub pixels or whether or not you can make it into that hole. Um, I think the prevailing strat for that jump is just jump and pray. But just occasionally, I, I'm pretty sure Pooh has lost runs there. Like Pooh has lost legit runs. And the thing is too, is like you can try to time it because uh, I've, I've always hated doing that YOLO jump and pray for it. But really like timing it doesn't, it's just so hard to actually time it that just YOLO and hope you make it in the hole is honestly just the best strat, so. What's my next YouTube exclusive game gonna be? Uh, I don't know. Is this the first shell jump of the hack? No, there's shell jumps in Jada Grotto. It's a weird, it's a weird uh, shell jump, but it is a shell jump. There's also shell jumps in uh, Rise and Fall. There's a double shell jump in there's there's like two shell jumps, then a double shell jump in Rise and Fall. Um, there's a fair amount of shell jumps in this game. Who's the guy in the picture? That's my dad. YOLO and hope you make it in the hole is the best and worst dating advice. <laughs> yep. That's my dad. Holy shit. Gorilla Mitts. Thank you for the tier three. Uh, 18 months. Thank you so much, Gorilla Mitts. Holy shit. Aegis Blade. Thank you so much. For the gift sub to Kazman. Thank you, Aegis Blade. Thank you, Gorilla Mints. Holy shit, man. Can you not? Oh, uh, maybe you gotta jump sooner. Fuck. Thank you so much. Uh, shell jumps are really easy in Super Mario World. They're really, really easy. 
Uh, Electronic Draconis. Thank you for the sub. And Iceberg, thank you for three months. Thank you very much. Yeah, SMM2 shell jumps are really difficult. They are not easy. Man, I don't get this jump at all. Uh, Breck Heck, thank you so much for the gift sub, man. Thank you so much, Breck Heck. I really appreciate that, dude. Uh, if you got a gift sub, welcome. Thank you very, very much. Is it on? So, what is it on Facebook? Is it like a super like or some shit? <laughs> oh my god. That was the best they could come up with. Uh, thank you very much, Breck Heck. I think it's a super like on Facebook. That's Tinder and Omega like. Who makes my sub alerts? Uh, I make them. Although Tom Servo made the hiker barb animation thing. Swarthy Old Coot. Thank you so much for five gift subs. Thank you, Swarthy Old Coot. I really, really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for those five gift subs, sir. Ooh. If you made me laugh, does that mean you're funny or not? I don't know. I have a pretty dumb sense of humor, so probably not. No! <laughs> Why have you forsaken me? In your eyes, forsaken me, I cry when angels deserve to die. Uh, voracious reader, thank you for the K bar points. Pog, only five orders of magnitude away from a highlighted message. Uh, Voracious Reader, thank you for the $11. Thank you, Voracious Reader. Myth NL, thank you for 19 months. Whoops. Thank you, Myth NL. Yeah, okay, guys, your panties are soaked. Funny is that uh, my uh, my wife thinks I have I have a, a groupies. <laughs> she thinks I have thinks I have like a like a a group of chicks who are groupies for me. <laughs> she's like like if I if I like I got a haircut. She's like, oh, I bet I bet your groupies are gonna like that. I'm like I don't have groupies. She's like, oh, sure you do. <laughs> yeah, I think most of my groupies are. Are bald are balding men. Bald or balding. Like I have groupies like that. Yeah, I have I have dude I have dude groupies. The, the, you know the only person you wanna know the only person who's ever come on to me on Twitch? Fucking Nintendesi. The only person who's ever come on to me on Twitch. <laughs> The only person who has ever come on to me on twitch.tv is Nintendesi. Rip my DMs. 
disappointed? No, I'm not disappointed. I, I just, I'm just saying, my wife thinks I have like groupies who are like, you know, like, oh, Barb, you're so hot. Let's do it, Bozer. Kill Bozer. Oh, Barb, you're so hot. Is this on ice? No, that's a Kurosu only. I try to get ball skip, but I feel like I'm just gonna die going for ball skip. I'm just gonna take the hit. Eyeballs, man. Does every Ramak end with this fight? No, no. The thing about Super Mario World, though, is that it has it's really difficult to make bosses that aren't like the same thing over and over. So this fight will happen more often. You're going to see this fight again in Kaizo 2, except it's going to be in the water. <laughs> oh, nice eerie. GG. <laughs> well, that's the any percent for Dram 1. Oh, that was close. Yes, it was. <sighs> timer? Nah, no timer. Mayor of Clutch Town. We did it. We saved the princess. Is that my PB? No. My PB is like 28 something on speedruns. Luminous Player. Thank you for the nine months. Do I have a favorite game other that others consider to be bad? A game that I like that people consider to be bad. I don't know. That's a difficult question. Nothing comes to mind for that. Well, let's see developer commentary video on Grand Pool World 2. Uh, I don't know. Maybe oh, maybe Zelda 2. I mean, I wouldn't say it's like my favorite game, but I like Zelda, I like Zelda 2 better than I like Zelda 1 for sure. Why is the floor glitching out? Because uh, it's, the game isn't meant to like do all that. <laughs> 